When you're ready to use the NVIDIA GPU Cloud, first thing you have to do is sign up for an account. To do that, you go to ngc.nvidia.com and click the Sign Up button. Now we type in some information. The email address is going to be our, our login ID, and that's where we're going to get our verification email. Role, industry, and country. We check on the agreements and click sign up. At this point, an email has been sent to the email account I, I gave uh, for verification. Here it is, it's arrived already. That's the email address I used. And I click here to verify. Verification was accepted. So now I have to set a password. And you can see the uh, build going on that shows I'm complying with the password rules. The passwords match and we set. At this point, my account is being activated in the cloud. And then it's going to ask me to sign in for the first time. It's the same email address, password I set. And here we have the NGC cloud terms of use. We accept those. And this is giving us uh, a guide to how we're going to get started. The initial steps are we're going to generate our NGC API key that allows us to pull containers. Then we're going to browse the registry for the container software we're going to run. And then we're going to set the platform of choice on which we're going to run that NGC containerized software. So let's go. And this takes us to the registry. So we need to get our API key, so we click this button. This is the configuration page. Now we generate our API key, confirm that we understand that any old API keys would become invalid. So here you see my API key has been generated. Uh, this is like a, a password to the, uh, the Docker registry. So I copy that and save it away. And we'll need that later. Now I go back to the registry, and you see the different deep learning containers that are available uh, in the in the registry. Uh, and I'm going to be running uh, TensorFlow. So notice that when it comes time to run TensorFlow, this is the Docker pull command I'm going to use to to get that uh, container. But now I need to set up my platform. And today I'm going to run on AWS, and I click here to get going with that. This brings us to a landing page with some directions uh, on how to run the NVIDIA GPU cloud on AWS. And I'm going to go ahead <coughs> to the console. I'd previously logged in to the AWS management console. So that step brings me uh, right to the management console, and I click on EC2. So to use AWS EC2 from the management console, we press the launch instance button. Here we have a selection of AMIs, uh, Amazon Machine Images, uh, to use on our VMs. We're going to go to the AWS Marketplace, type in NVIDIA Volta. And that's going to find the NVIDIA Volta Deep Learning AMI. And that's the virtual machine image we're going to use to run our instance. This gives you the pricing. The NVIDIA Volta Deep Learning AMI is free to use. And then these are the EC2 hourly charges to run the hardware instance. At this point, we have to choose our instance type. We're going to use GPU compute. And we're going to pick this P32X large instance, which is a single Volta GPU instance. And we click Review and Launch. I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to add one other detail. I'm going to add a tag. Whenever you launch on AWS, it's useful to give a name. 
uh, to your instance to make it easy to find. So we'll call this one fill demo two. Now we're ready to review and launch. At this point, we have to select uh, a key pair. We can create a new one. I'm going to use an existing key pair called p3west2.key that I have on this machine. And this key pair is going to be used in order to connect to our instance once it's running. And click Launch Instance. At this point, uh, a number of checks are done uh, on the setup. Uh, and the launch is being initiated on AWS, in this case, in the Oregon region. You can see from the launch log that the launch checks were successful. And I click here to see my instance uh, in the dashboard. Uh, and as you can see, the instance state is pending uh, and it's being initialized. Since it takes several minutes for a VM instance to boot, I started another instance just before the webinar. This one's called fill demo one. This is the one we're going to connect to for the rest of the demo. When we select an instance, you see information about that instance in the panel below. And in order to connect to it, I need the public IP address. So I'm going to copy that into the paste buffer. Now we go to a terminal and we're going to SSH login uh, into our instance. And I need that public IP and that will log us in. Now, as we're logging into that uh, AMI instance uh, running on uh, P3 Volta, you notice it's asking me for my NGC API key, which we created earlier. So now I'm gonna copy that and paste it into here. Hit enter, and it's gonna log me into the NGC registry. And at this point, I'm, I'm logged in and I can pull my NGC container. Uh, I'm going to work with TensorFlow, and you remember the command we saw earlier, docker pull cr.io nvidia tensorflow, and we're going to use the tag 17.10, which is the latest version. And here you see the docker container being pulled in across the internet. Uh, and it's pulled in a layer at a time, and you'll see each layer is downloading and extracting. So here we are with the Docker pull has completed, and now the TensorFlow 1710 image is on my machine. I have some notes stored away here to save you watching my typing. Um, we're going to run the TensorFlow container with NVIDIA Docker and we're going to run it in interactive mode. So here's that command. And this has started the container, and you can see that we're in the container with this root at container ID uh, workspace uh, command uh, with the, uh, the hash prompt instead of the, the dollar. Now we're going to CD into uh, a working directory where there is example code within the container. And then we're going to kick off our uh, MNIST deep learning job. Uh, like most uh, of deep learning, it starts with a Python script. And this is the MNIST with uh, summaries. First of all, the container code is now going to pull a data set into the container from the internet and then it's almost immediately started training uh, and as you can see uh, as it's stepping through it's outputting the accuracy uh, at each step and if we let this uh, run to completion uh, it has a thousand steps altogether so i hope you can see um, that uh, in a few minutes We've gone through the steps of creating an account, uh, verifying that account, logging in. We went to the registry. We found the container we wanted to run. Then at the click of a button, we entered the AWS console. We launched an instance with the NVIDIA Volta Deep Learning AMI on a P3 Volta instance. We logged into it with our AWS key. We gave our NGC API key to the registry, 
And a couple of minutes later, we've run our first deep learning training job in TensorFlow.